Hey parents, Carmine here with your video review of L.A. Noir. Do you think I could fit in there? I couldn't fit in there. The 1940s was a tumultuous time for Los Angeles. World War II was raging, the mafia crime family was at its peak, and the Black Dahlia murder was on the loose. L.A. Noir places the player in the shoes of a rookie detective as he works his way up the ranks and gets involved with a number of iconic crimes. Give us some time to look the place over. The lab. L.A. Noir is, at its core, a puzzle game. Players will be presented with a series of cases and tasked with solving them. The nature of the cases will depend on the department where the player is currently employed. If the player is working homicide, the majority of the cases will deal with the werewolf killer. If the player is working vice, the majority of the cases will deal with stolen army issue morphine. Morphine. Might not be filling, but I'm sure it's satisfying. Some of the cases in L.A. Noir are based on real crimes, and the game tries to keep those cases historically accurate. If the victims were found naked in the real-life case, the game will depict them naked. If the victims were murdered, their wounds will be shown and discussed by the detectives. Players will be exposed to all manners of crime, from petty theft and vandalism, to child molestation, rape, and murder. You fuck young boys, Valdez. Are you a madman? This will cause an international incident. Violence in this game will only come in two forms. The first and most common are shown on the victims of crimes. The player will encounter numerous deceased individuals, some with very little visible damage, others who clearly suffered horrible deaths. The second form is when criminals will attempt to kill the player. This happens surprisingly often. It makes sense that some criminals, such as murderers, would attempt to kill police officers, but many times lesser criminals, like vandals and thieves, will break out pistols and try and shoot the player. Even so, the vast majority of the game is spent solving crimes, not shooting criminals. Cause of death? Could be the head Similarly, sexuality and substance use are included in a number of crimes that the player will investigate. Many of the murders will depict the victims either half or fully nude. This nudity is in keeping with the crimes, however, and is not painted in a way that is crude. The same goes for the way the substance abuse is presented. It is always cold and analytical. L.A. Noir is an awesome game that has some very surprising twists and turns. With the violence low and the sexuality and substance use kept in the context of the cases, we gave this game a recommended age of 16 years old. For the full written review, including the extra categories, log on to SideStoryGames.com.